Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Breakdown with Bethany. I'm Bethany Ron Silva, and today I'm going to be breaking it down with someone I've admired and really fangirled over for a really long time, and that's Tori Spelling. Tori is a mother of five, an entrepreneur, a host, and of course, an actress. We love Tori, and I can't wait to dive into all things motherhood and her new show. So stay tuned. Well, Tori, let's jump right in. You've had such a busy week between the mass Singer and then your kids starting school yesterday. We have so much to cover, but I did want to start with the mass Singer because I was so moved by your Instagram post, the one where you talk about how the mass Singer brought you so much confidence. And I know as a mother, especially when we have, when we instill confidence in ourselves, it helps to instill confidence in our kids. So can you tell us a little bit about what that experience was like? Um, so singing in public, singing, and singing in public and performing in public, huge fears, lifelong fears of mine. And, you know, I'm raising five kids, especially two really strong females. And I really wanted to lead by example. And um, when, when I started my journey working with Mass Singer, I, you know, it was my biggest fear. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And then I'm like, wait, no, you tell your girls that they can do anything and be anyone they want to be. So you know what? You need to take on your biggest fear and do it. Bad or good. Who knows what the outcome is going to be, but you've got to dive in. And the journey doing it has been so amazing because what I didn't realize is that, you know, it's not just singing and performing. It's actually being behind a mask. And being in the public eye my entire life, I have always felt like, you know, I have amazing fans, but then I have people that, you know, judge me. They hear my name, they judge me. They see my face, they judge me. They, you know, see what show I was on, they judge me. I have people that still say, oh, you're only on, you're only working on shows because of your dad. And I was like, well, sadly, my dad passed 15 years ago and I'm working every day. So but it's stuff that sticks with you. And I think more than anything, it sticks with us inside. Um, so that's why kind of being, speaking to that, being inside a mask, I could be confident. I could be anyone I wanted to be. They didn't know it was Tori Spelling. So, you know, people that might say, oh, it's Tori Spelling. I'm going to judge her before she even starts. They had no idea. So it was such a freeing feeling. I can't even tell you. And I loved it. And whenever I wear that mask, I literally, I stand up straighter than ever. My shoulders are back. I have so much confidence and it just stays with me. And anytime, you know, we have ebbs and flows in life, it starts to dip. I'm like mass singer. And then I'm like, oh, right back there. Oh my gosh, we as a fan and as a mom too. Oh my gosh, I loved that journey for you. I know that's such a cliche saying, but I'm always rooting for you. So I'm really <laughs> glad to see that. And so I'm wondering, because um, you know, you mentioned that people hear your name and there's sort of all these preconceived notions and judgments. Um, what about I know you've been open about your kids experiencing bullying, you know, at school. Is there anything like do they experience the same kind of thing with you know being your your children? Um, there, there has been a layer of that, um, but you know, it's, it, bullying comes in all varying de degrees, you know, and it comes, you know, it's very subjective and individual and, you know, it's all how it makes us feel and it can be about so many different things. And, um, I have different kids that have been bullied for different things because they're all their own person. I have five to 15. I mean, as you know, with kids, like it's just, you never know what's going to happen. And there's always that fear that it's like, oh gosh, you want it to work out. You want things to be good, but there's the unknown. And when it happens, you just kind of have to handle it the best you can. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, this is one of the busiest time of year for moms, especially for families. And you just, I was going to say, you have a wide range, age range of kids, five kids between the ages of five and 15. So how are you managing with all the back to school? What are some of your tips? <laughs> because my kids don't go back until September 8th. And like oh, I said, so I, only have, I only have two, but I need all the help I can get. So <laughs> you know what? It's stressful for parents, whether you have one or five, like 
it, it, it doesn't get easier. It, it, you know what? I used to put a lot of pressure on myself and I'm telling you social media, as I'm sure you can relate, doesn't make it easier. I see moms with the signs they've ordered and had made. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do that. And I literally will like, uh oh, where's, where's a sticky note? First, you know, first day, ninth grade, hand it to my kid, hold it up, take a picture. And it's like, you know what? That's okay. Cause we'll look back and be like, hey, it wasn't perfect, but it was our lives. And this is the memories we'll like actually make rather than having that perfect photo. Um, but it's, you know, it's stressful. And I always think I'm not a planner, which is hard with five kids. My brain doesn't think that way. But first week of school, I try my best to get off on the right foot. Um, think ahead about taking my kids to the grocery store, picking out snacks. I always say, you know, hey, just when you think, you know, this kid likes that, this kid likes this, the next school, they're like, no, no, I don't like that anymore. I'm into this now. It's like, okay, let's go. Let's, let's veer that way. And it always happens, right? When you like stocked up on whatever it is. <laughs> uh, of course. I just went to Costco and got the huge box of granola bars that you loved last year. And now you don't want them. Um, yeah, of course. Um, but also, you know, like prepping, like cutting like a vegetables, fruit, you can put that in the refrigerator like days before trying to make the lunches the night before, not like scrambling in the morning and laying out clothes. That's my biggest thing is, and I have a couple of them. They're like, mom, that's embarrassing. Like I'm too old for you to lay out my clothes. And it's like, listen, no one sees what goes on here. Oh, except I just told you that. But other than that, <laughs> um, I don't think their friends will be watching. Fine, fine. Yeah, everyone gets it. But I'm like, you know what? Let, you know, especially with girls, I'm like, okay, let's go through your stuff. Let's do the fashion show now. Let's settle on something now and let's just lay it out. So tomorrow morning, you're not like, I don't know where my socks are. I can't find them. I can only find one shoe. How did a pair get lost in the house? So it's always that. So just thinking ahead and especially going back during these times where, you know, they've been through so much in the last couple of years. And now I feel like they're having to re like, like to relearn how to socialize and, and do that all over again, which is so hard for them. This is stuff, you know, when we were young, we didn't have to navigate. It's a whole new time now. So um, I put little notes. Now, am I going to stick with those notes all year? No, I don't want to put the bar too high. I'm probably going to slack, but at least the first week I try to put a little note. Each kid's different. So I know one loves comedy. I'm going to put a little joke, which he'll say like, oh, it's such a mom joke that's okay. And, you know, one, an inspirational quote, one, like a cute drawing because she loves art. So it's just like, know your audience and you kind of acclimate to what is, works for them. Yeah. And actually, um, I see so going back to what you said, I always love to say real is better than perfect. And I think you are such a prime example of that because you are also very aspirational out there, but I love that you're just so real about, you know, your motherhood journey, everything that's going on with you. And I was actually so surprised to hear that you're a migraine sufferer. I mean, I, I get them once in a blue moon and I can't imagine having to kind of go through all the things that we as mothers go through with a migraine on top of that. So how are you managing? Exactly. No, I hear you. So I actually started getting migraines 20 years ago. Um, I got my first migraine filming on the set of 90210. And it was just like, it was debilitating. I didn't know what was happening. It was like, I missed work and I never missed work. Um, and, you know, and it, it just like that journey was so hard. And in the past, like I just couldn't find the right treatment, couldn't find the right medication that worked for me. And I was missing stuff, like not only missing work, but, you know, when I started to have kids, I would miss, you know, a performance at school. I would miss, you know, I could have in the past missed the first day of school. And that's so important that we're present in there for them. And um, about two years ago, I found Nurtec ODT and this works for me. This is something that makes my migraines go away, uh, makes them, and it's even, you can take it at the onset or it's preventative. So if I know that like, and stress, my number one trigger, it is. So I know first day of school, it's gonna be a huge trigger. I will take my medication ahead of time, knowing that in just, you know, it's a dissolvable tablet. So I could always have it on me. So if it happens, I have it with me. And I know within an hour or two, 
I'm going to be back and I don't have that what we call migraine fog afterwards um, and have, you know, that like I have to be in bed all day, like I can go back to my normal life and be on my game. And, you know, I don't have the side effects, but the likely side effects, I mean, the side effects that people could possibly have are stomach pain, nausea, and indigestion. Um, but yeah, it's really worked really well for me. So I kind of like tell everyone, you know, it's so individual it works for people, but communication and talking about it and realizing you're not alone that, I mean, we know as moms, like that's the biggest thing is knowing you're not alone in situations. It just helps to hear somebody say like, even you saying I get a migraine every once in a blue moon made me feel more comfortable. Cause I'm like, okay, even though maybe it's not like as often as I can get them, like I relate to you now even more. And, you know, right now 40 million Americans suffer from migraines. So it is something that everyone should talk about. And I tell people like information is key. Like by talking about it, you might learn about something that works for you. What works for me is NERTEC ODT, but you know, people should definitely talk to your physician and go to NERTEC.com to get more information to see if it's the right fit for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think a lot of times with moms too, like we don't want to like bring attention to ourselves. We don't want to no, miss ever. wrong. So we'll just sort of kind of suffer in silence. So I'm so happy that you're bringing an awareness to this topic because it might not be as serious as some, but like it can be very debilitating. But just to switch gears a little bit, Tori, you have been on our TVs for years. You are such like a mainstay on television and sort of just like brings comfort <laughs> to, to like people who are just love to see you. And so tell us a little bit about your new show. I know it, it sounds really interesting, kind of like a lifestyle, like a mix of things for home and food yeah. and all of that. It's kind of, if anyone knows me, they know it's kind of everything I love to do wrapped up into one TV show. So it's called At Home with Tori and I get to, I get to cook, I get to bake, um, DIY, party plan, and I do it all with my kids. So it's a really fun family show. I have my friends on it. Um, so it kind of appeals to every demo and it's on Vizio. It's streaming right now, the first season. And it's just been so much fun to do. And my daughter, my 14 year old daughter is amazing. She's on the show a lot. She's such a talented baker. Um, and so she does a lot of the recipes with me, which has been really great for her. She you know, I've been public about her bullying in the past uh, previous schools and how it lessened her confidence. And that's the place where she excels at her confidence. Just, oh my God, you can, you can see it. And it's so great. Like when she bakes, when she cooks, when she DIY, she crochets, she can make anything. I see her confidence come back. And I think it's really important that we kind of navigate that each child is different and what what builds their confidence and kind of go with that. So this show totally does that for her. That's such a, I mean, I, I, I'll pay you later. You totally did a full circle moment for my interview. We started with confidence. We're ending with confidence. Tori, thank you so much. You're a joy. I'll be rooting for you all the way. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. If there's any, if there's any information that you want to share where we can watch, well, you said Vizio, but about the medication or anything else you can share that with us now. Everyone can go to nerdtech.com and you are T E C to get more information.com. All right. Thank you so much, Tori. Have a great day. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.